What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny, back with another episode of Everything is a Monster. Cows are monsters, birds are monsters, I'm a monster, he's a monster. Everything is a monster. So there's this video on the trending page right now. It's called Dropping Watermelon 45 Feet. It's like a video that seems like it would be kind of interesting when you click on it because it's like, ooh, I want to see a watermelon get smashed. Now that I think about it, 45 feet isn't like a very interesting height. Like, that's not very high. That's like the height of like a tall house. Isn't it? I feel like he could have gone a little bit higher, but it's on trending page for a reason, so you know your boy had to check it out. This is the lift, and it doesn't really look like much when it's parked just like this, but I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely huge. It's so high. I actually haven't taken it to the maximum height yet, but today we are gonna take it to the maximum height, and we have some really cool things we're gonna drop off. Check this out. We got some soda, we got some Woo! orange soda, some strawberry, and some water or uh, pineapple soda, and we also have some watermelons. This video is 14 minutes long and they don't drop anything until about 10 minutes into the video. So the first 10 minutes of this video are just nothing. They go in the lift and they go up. Here we go! They get scared and then they come back down. I'm scared. We gotta bring this thing down. And then their mom desperately tries to convince them not to do it. Hey mom, what do you think of this? Ah, uh, no way, no way, you don't know. do it, don't do it, don't do it! And I know what you're thinking. She's very convincing. Don't do it! But. They do it anyway. So anyway, he finally gets up in the lift, he's got the watermelon, and he's gonna drop it. Let's do this thing. What do you think is gonna happen? I have no fucking clue. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I mean, there's no telling. No one's ever dropped a watermelon before. Even if you drop a watermelon from like standing height, it shatters. So like, is it really that much of a surprise if the watermelon breaks? Go! Ah! Whoa! Oh, Whoa! That was awesome, it exploded everywhere! Whoa! That was so awesome. So he finally drops it and he is just amazed. Whoa! 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 That was crazy. Yeah, his his reaction is actually making me just like a little bit uncomfortable. He's definitely like a little bit too excited about this watermelon exploding. I think the appropriate reaction to a watermelon falling from a great height and exploding is like, huh. Nice. Even that maybe was a little bit too much. So that was just a test one. He wasn't at the full height yet. But now he's gone up the lift to the full height of a scary, palm shaking, knees quaking, eyes sweating, teeth sweating, 45 feet in the air. So, uh, hang on. We're going a little bit higher. I'm very, very nervous. <sighs> I've never been that high in all my life. I mean, this dude must have gone through extensive training to get up that high. I don't think I'd be able to handle that. Don't you need like an oxygen mask that high up? How does he survive up there? Water ballot number two. Here we go. Go! Go, 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 go! Ah! Whoa! Whoa, that piece all the way out there! Whoa, that one exploded even bigger than the last one. No way! Carter, that was crazy! So he throws another watermelon, and he is absolutely aghast. Whoa! For some reason, he's even more surprised that a watermelon broke at a higher height. Now, he does a few more tests, and the next one's pretty anticlimactic. He drops a soda bottle, and it just bounces, and it doesn't break. Go! It's over there! Whoa, what it, What happened? It didn't even explode, I'm not sure what happened with it! And you can tell that he wasn't expecting that, but he has to act surprised anyway, because, you know, he's a YouTuber, and so he has to yell about everything. Whoa, what it, oh. So it breaks, and he's like, Whoa! So then he does it again with another soda bottle, and this time, he throws it down, because he knows that it won't break if he just drops it. And then it shatters! Ah! And then, he's surprised again! Whoa! It exploded! That was awesome! So when the soda bottle didn't break, he was shocked. But then when it did break, he was also shocked? Like, what was he expecting to happen? He's just amazed by anything. He's just amazed that the water bottle made it to the ground, apparently. He was just expecting it to not even get there. He was gonna drop it, and he thought it was just gonna zoom off into space, and he would never see it again. So now this video got on the trending page, which is always interesting for channels like this, because they have, like, their core following, who are usually, I don't know, like, eight, and then people who find the video on the trending page who aren't already subscribed to this channel, who are a regular age with functioning, developed brains. So you have their fans commenting on the video, like this person, the Sada will X explode. And then you've got comments like this, no. Which is funny because the dude who posted the video actually hearted this comment. It looks like he hearts most of the comments without looking at them, so there's a lot of negative comments on this video that this dude hearted. <laughs> this dude said, people are starving, let's throw them off. As in saying like, oh, there's a lot of people starving in the world, let's throw this perfectly good food off of the lift. And 
I guess that's like sort of a valid point. I don't really agree with it. I just think it's funny that the dude who posted this video hearted that comment as if to say like, yeah, fuck those starving people. Let's do it. Like he thinks this guy's on his side. Man, his reaction to the drops makes me want to puke. That is... That is very accurate. What? I don't know what the fuck this comment means. I think I will bust open. <laughs> and he hearted it. I think I'm gonna bust open. I think he was talking about the watermelon. I think he meant to say, I think it will bust open. Dude, I think I'm gonna bust open. <laughs> yeah, in general, most of the comments are just upset that the video is so long. I saw this video on the trending page and I was like, I gotta find out who this guy is because his videos suck. And it turns out this dude, Carter Scherer, is a part of like a group of YouTubers called the Scherer Fam. It's sort of like Clout Gang, except they're all related. There's Carter, there's Steven, there's Lizzie, and then there's Otter and Millie, who are their dogs. Their dogs have their own channel. Now this may surprise you, but dropping watermelons off of a giant lift is not actually what they're known for. The main videos that they make that gets the most views are videos about a monster that lives in their pond. They have this giant pond in their backyard, and apparently there's a monster that lives in it. What the- what is the heck is that?! Whoa. Oh! It's one of those things that's obviously fake, and they made one video about it, and it got the most views, and so they sort of just have to keep making videos about that, and they sprinkle in other videos every once in a while too. But like, most of their videos are about this pond monster. You can look at their thumbnails and titles. I fell off! Pond monster. Swimming with pond monster. Hunting pond monster. They have so many videos about pond monsters, but I think they've realized that just using the word monster in their title, or just talking about monsters in their videos gets them so many more views. So they've started doing this weird thing where they just start calling every animal a monster. There's a video where they see like a fox that's sleeping in the forest by their house. And the dude spends an entire video trying to find it because he says it's a monster that's living in their backyard. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> Shares, I think the animal down there is either a monster or a fox. Maybe what we saw was just a baby monster and there's actually like the mama monster back there? I don't know what's going on. There's a video where he sees a squirrel in his backyard and he pretends to not know what a squirrel is and he calls it a monster. What is that thing? What is that, mom? There's some monster in our backyard. I, what is that thing doing? And there's a video where they see just regular fish in a pond and they call them pond monsters. Cheers, if we could just get one of these monsters to come up and eat some of this food, we'd be golden. And then their sister tries to attack it with a lightsaber. <laughs> They're very scared of the pond monster. Every time they see it, they get all crazy and they run away from the pond like it's this thing that's gonna eat them. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, what was that? <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is, there it is! Look, there it is! And yet, like, two-thirds of their videos are them going in the pond. Look, monster in pond trapped inside giant bubble ball. This video is one of my favorite of theirs because the acting is just so bad. So they inflate this giant inflatable ball, which looks fun as fuck, by the way. Check this thing out, Mom. It's a giant bubble ball. Wow! You can go inside. No way. Yeah. Ooh, that's so Oh my goodness, this is crazy! And then he pretends to like fall and roll down the hill towards the pond and the mom tries to catch him. <laughs> yeah, that mom, dude, she is um... She's really trying. She's really trying. I'm gonna try to take this thing on the water. Oh, no way! No way! What happened to that got the float? I don't know. And then the mom pushes her son into the pond. Cheers, you want to see Steven go in the water? Let's push him! Oh. Woo! Oh. The pond that they believe a monster lives in, the mom pushes her own son into the pond. I think the real monster lives within this mother. <laughs> The rest of the video is just them really playing up this whole situation because he's scared that the monster's gonna get him and she's scared that the monster's gonna get him. I'm trapped on the water. Whoa! The mom tries to get on this boat thing and push him out of the pond. <laughs> She just runs around the pond aimlessly, yelling that she's worried he's going to get eaten by the pond monster. I gotta get Steven out before the pond monster attacks! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! I'm coming, Steven! I'm coming! Uh, uh. I can't really fault the mom for being that bad of an actor. She's just like trying to help her kids with this weird YouTube thing that they do. She's just trying to be a supportive mom, but like... 
If you replaced her with a professional actor, nobody would notice. I guarantee it. Nobody would care. Do it. All right, so these videos obviously just seem more like skits than vlogs, right? Like, they're not trying to mislead kids into thinking that this pond monster is actually real, right? Well, here's a video called Freezing Pond Monster with Liquid Nitrogen. Warning. What you are about to see is 100% real. Oh, so that so they are just trying to convince kids that this is real. Okay, nice. So I'm thinking, Charles, let's grab all the liquid nitrogen that I have, bring it down to the pond, pour it in the water, and see if we can freeze the water and scare, or basically like freeze the pond monster out of the water. I think it might, just might work, so let's go give it a try. Oh, hey, Shares! I'm making a trap for the pond monster. No way, you think this is gonna work instead of climbing there and get stuck? Nah, just kidding. This is a cage for the baby koi. I ca I really feel bad for the monster. You know, I mean, what did the what did the monster even do to these kids? I've watched most of the videos where they interact with the monster. The most that ever happens is that they're outside of the pond and they see like the top of a monster looking thing come out of the water and just sort of sit there. It's not aggressive. It doesn't come up to them and try to bite them. It's just like the top of a thing that they see in the water. And this dude's gonna try to fucking kill it for no reason. He's not setting a good example for kids. You shouldn't just kill random animals in your backyard. I'm calling the police. So the, his plan is just to dump all this uh, liquid nitrogen into the pool. So that's what he does. It creates a bunch of smoke and there's no sign of the monster until suddenly. And... Whoa, there's the pond monster! It's in the fog! Do you see that? It's right, whoa, whoa! There it is, there it is! Do you see it? It's in there! There it is! There's the pond monster! Man, the camera got so shaky the second the monster came out. That's, that must be like a weird coincidence. It's almost like they don't want you to know that it's not really a monster and just a fake alligator toy. This dude Steven Scherer's videos are probably the weirdest because in most of them you can tell that he wakes up without really any plan for what the video is going to be and then just sort of walks around his house and tries to make things seem more interesting than they are. Like there's this video where he finds this like secret room which is really just like an attic that's connected to his brother's bedroom and he he goes inside and he's just like walking around in this dark attic and he's like trying to make boxes look mysterious. He pretends to hear like weird sounds which he's clearly editing into the video. There's just the sound of a man screaming. <laughs> Do you hear that Shares? It sounds like something screaming. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's supposed to be a ghost or if it's really just supposed to be a man who's trapped in their attic screaming. He makes the plots of the video so unrealistic too. Like there's one video where he vlogged himself waking up. Like he was filming himself asleep and then he woke up. This dude's also constantly decked out in his own merch, which is a little weird. And I'm not just talking about like occasionally wearing his own t-shirt. I'm talking head to toe. He is always wearing like socks, shorts, hat, and shirt of his own merch. And that's really what you want kids watching, right? You basically want your kids watching like a, a glorified salesman who's trying to sell your kids shit at all times and also provide the bare minimum amount of entertainment. They have a Lamborghini with their logo on it. That's fucking tight. So their videos are obviously meant for like children. I would guess like 10 or 11 year olds that watch these videos, right? <laughs> this Carter dude has a video where he surprises his 1 millionth subscriber and he goes to meet him and look at this kid. Are you my 1 millionth subscriber? You are? Oh, Sharers, we found it! This is my one million subscriber! I was like, okay, is this kid like eight or six? I'm really bad at guessing kid's age. The, he could have been like 15 for all I know. He's four. This dude's one million subscriber is four years old. His name is Cam. He's four years old. And he's been watching my channel for a really long time. That's super awesome. What's up, Cam? What's going on? Woo! How does this kid even have a YouTube channel that he's subscribed with? He's four, and he looks super uncomfortable for this entire video. And if all of that wasn't cringy enough, they have music too. This dude Carter made a music video for a song called Imagination. This one is for the kids with imagination. Let's go outside, make a creation. Great ideas flowing out is what my channel's all about. So grab your gear, let's engineer. It's what I do, it's my career. Gonna be crazy, gonna be fun. Got my Lambo and a Nerf gun. I've never seen a music video where someone has been less interested in the song that they were singing than this video. Share the love, share the love. The competition, we're above, we're above, we're above. All right, well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to join Greg. Greg is my family here on YouTube. We're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Don't look that up or a pond monster will attack you. Guys, it's me, the garbage version of Danny that edits his videos. Just so you know, I'm gonna be at VidCon this week. So if you see me, make sure you come up and say hi, but whatever you do, 
Don't look me in the eyes or I'll punch you in the throat. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Matthew McDonald, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time for a really interesting video where, against my father's wishes, I build my own go-kart to compete in a local race. But once I take home the gold, he realizes that it's not such a crazy dream after all, and I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. Bye.